Tadashi Suzuki was born on June 20th, 1939 in Japan, specifically Shinokuwa, Japan. He is currently still alive at the age of 81 years old. Tadashi Suzuki is a Japanese avant-garde theater director, writer, and philosopher. His most reveling work is actually done worldwide because he is the founder and director of the Shinuki Suzuki Company of Toga, Scott for short, and an organizer of Japan's first international theater festivals, Toga Festivals. Also, with an American director and a workout, he co-founded the Saratogan International Theater Institution in Saratoga, New York. And Suzuki was also a general artistic director of the Shinokuwa Performing Arts Center, SPAC for short. Also an international committee member of the Theater Olympics, founding member of the BC To Festival, which is an organization that is led by theater artists from Japan, China, and Korea, and a chairman of the board of directors for the Japanese the Japanese Performing Arts Foundation and has a nationwide network of theater professionals. Although he did live through a lot of historical events, those events really didn't influence his work. What really influenced his work were classic literature, specifically Greek tragedies. He admired a lot of the great Greek playwrights and also the work of Slavoskovsky and Blavoskovsky, I believe, to name a few. A lot of his work is well known, for example, here are some of his works. On the Dramatic Passion, The Trojan Woman, The Inoasis, Virgins of Lear, Cairo de Borginac, <laughs> and Madame de Sala, and many others. Although he has contributed a lot to theater, arguably his biggest contribution would be The Invisible Body. With this technique, Shizuki Alan outline three important factors. The first is to have a point of view, secondly to have an audience or a sense of the other, and lastly to have an awareness of your invisible body. The actor's point of view refers to the fundamental essence of acting, which is in which actors convey the desire to make people reevaluate what they see. The other refers to the audience or from the actor's perspective, the sense of an observer. The invisible body re refers to the physical, the primary physical functions that his method of acting training attempts to develop. As mentioned, the Suzuki method of acting, acting training is carried out using a series of physical exercises known as discipline. Its objective is to develop three crucial aspects of the actor's body. They are their energy production, breathing, and center of gravity. These three aspects are also the fundamental keys of physical functions of any human being because as soon as we have a problem with any of them, it becomes more difficult to maintain our health and participate in modern society, according to Shizuki. This is due to the part of the fact that their particular functions exist in, it, in a relationship with another. The more energy the body produces, the more oxygen it needs, when in turn, uh, in intensifies the breathing. When breathing intensifies, it challenges the body's balance or center of gravity. However, in spite of their importances, these functions do not generally receive a lot of attention. Hence, they are collectively referred to by Shizuki as the invisible body. Therefore, that the main objective of his training is to firstly grow our capacity in each of these functions independently and more importantly to deepen the relationship between these three things. If we are able to expand our capacity in producing energy, in taking in oxygen and maintaining our center of gravity, more variety of movements will be available to us. This, in turn, increases the stability and sustainability of our lives. When applied to the stage to the actor's training, Suzuki explains that through discipline, integrated, integrated developments of these three parameters, the body gains strength and agility, the voice acquires range and capacity, and an awareness of the others grows. Such work development develops the expressive potency needed to transmit the actor's point of view. It follows then that the core requirements of the art of acting lies in discipline, created to deepen awareness of these three crucial integrated invisible phenomena. In other words, the Suzuki method of acting training is created to, created to target 
all these physical attributes that are crucial but often neglected by the actors on stage. This is why I believe he he's included on our list of most prominent figures in the history of acting training. This also connects to our class because Profe has done an ex class exercise about this. And I believe that we learn to do this because it help, helps us become more self-aware of ourselves and the stage around us, also known as the other.